Survival Kit Whether you're going on a lengthy bike ride, a hike, a hunting trip, or just a week or two of camping, having the right survival kits on hand can mean the difference between living well and being caught in a truly disastrous situation. Here are a few suggestions on what to consider when picking out survival kits. You'll be surprised at just how useful they can be. One of the most essential survival kits would have to be the first aid kit. Whether you're going on a long car ride or you're spending a few days in the wilderness, it's always a good idea to have the supplies you need to treat sunburn or bandage a wound, should you need to. While the contents of your first aid kit may vary depending on what you plan on doing, you should nevertheless have bandages, clean water, burn cream, bug bite ointment, and antibiotics at the very least. If you have a specific medical problem that requires daily medication, it's a good idea to keep an extra dose handy in case you need it. What are other survival kits to consider? Food is often a big problem in the event of an emergency. Not only is finding it difficult, but preparing it can be tricky too, especially if you're low on supplies as it is. However, there are survival kits that contain a variety of freeze-dried or dehydrated foods that last for years and are relatively simple to prepare. You can also include drinks, such as powdered milk or dried fruit juice. Other goodies to include in your survival kits include granola bars, jerky, chocolate, and dried fruit. These foods provide you with a quick burst of energy and last quite a long time. There are plenty of other things to keep in mind for your survival kits. Some common supplies include flashlights, fresh batteries, solar-powered hot plates, matches, a compass, emergency flares, a battery-powered radio, binoculars, and others. These are great for everything from hunting trips to hiking. Not only will they help you navigate unfamiliar territory, but you can also use many of these supplies to gain the attention of a search party. These are only a few survival items to consider. It never hurts to think ahead, and when it comes to staying safe, you can never be too prepared. So here is a more detailed list of items to keep in your kit. The first four categories are based on the survival rule of threes. These are the things the human body needs to survive, no matter the situation, including 1. Air. You can survive for three minutes without air. 2. Shelter. You can survive for three hours without shelter in a harsh environment. 3. Water. You can survive for three days without water. 4. Food. You can survive three weeks without food. The remaining eight categories cover clothing, defense, heat, warmth, lighting, first aid, navigation tools, multi-purpose tools, miscellaneous. So here are a few ideas on what to pack into your survival kit. It is your responsibility to decide what to pack. Remember that that decision can affect the survival situation you're in. 1. Tools, multi-tool, pocket knife, pliers. 2. Illumination, flashlight, two sets of extra batteries, emergency candles. 3. Water purification tablets. 4. Cordage and tape, duct tape, 200 feet of paracord, small roll of bank line or utility line. 5. Fire starting kit, flint or magnesium fire starter, matches, emergency tinder, magnifying glass. 6. Metal pot or mugs. 7. Space blanket. 8. Emergency poncho. 9. Trekking poles. 10. Safety pins. 11. Emergency non-perishable food rations. 12. Large tarp. 13. Basic first aid, medical kit, band aids of various sizes, gauze, ace bandage, snake bite kit, aspirin, antihistamines, antiseptic wipes, triple antibiotic ointment, tweezers. 14. Rescue signals, signaling mirror, whistle. 15. Rain jacket. 16. Fishing kit hooks, sinkers, lures, 100 yards of fishing line. 17. Compass and maps. One final item that you may want to consider adding to your kit is a cheat sheet. A cheat sheet should include any information that may be of value in a survival situation. This may include first aid procedures, a list of geographical references for navigating without a map, instructions for tying various knots or a list of edible fruits in the area. You'll likely want to print out such a list and then have it laminated to protect it. However, it will be easier to pack several small cards rather than a single large card, if your list ends up being rather long. Please look in the descriptions below for more information about these cards. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on new videos. Help us by leaving a comment to tell us what you would like to see and experience. Help us to grow the channel for your viewing pleasure. Please return to see if we made what you asked for in the comments. We're not making videos for us, but for you the YouTubers. So please help us by sharing our videos with family and friends. Thanks for watching.